Good morning guys. It is 4.12 in the afternoon and we have just arrived in Calgary. Zam! Look at that rental car. We have arrived in Camor and here is our Airbnb. Downstairs, big kitchen, beautiful. Living room, bedroom, bathroom, another room. All the way upstairs, got bedroom with a little balcony. And what's going on out here? We are at Sulphur Mountain, just outside of Banff. Some nice views up here. We're gonna take the gondola to the top. Three, two, one. Heavy toll for the uh, gondola. $64 for the gondola. 78 when you add in lunch. Going to the top of that mountain there. Just grinded a, a hike to the peak and feel the elevation when you're moving quick. Gorgeous. All right, now we're at Lake Louise, going for a little skate. They're nice. Doubt that. <laughs> Looks like no one is skating. <laughs> so that's a good start. Might be a little far away with the GoPro, but this is Lake Louise Ski Hill. The Fairmont is right there. And the famous view is right there. Now at Vermilion Bay, and we have found a spot to skate. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Okay. That's some good clips. Dude, the lighting is sick right now. Airbnb is a pool? Guess what we're doing today? Sleds. How rebel stoked are you guys right now? Ready? <laughs> and you don't have to hold the button. It's like if you're down, you just need to talk and communicate. First stop here, uh, probably the best view, one of the best views I've seen in my life. Up above the clouds, Revel Stoke Ski Hill in the background. Still trying to figure out the sledding thing. Um, having trouble keeping balance, turning corners, <laughs> struggling. <laughs>
We got it in there. Yo! Yo! So I've been here for a little lunch break. Mm. So here's where I need to interrupt this video for a quick story. So just in this next clip, pay attention how fast we're going. And this is with the brakes fully pulled in. And also pay attention to how much um, elevation loss we have. This is where I realized we looked to be in trouble. All there was in front of us was a broken up lake. Doesn't seem like we should be down here. Huh? Doesn't seem like we should be down here. I was really worried at first, but there actually happened to be three guys come down at the same time. Um, but they were clearly a lot more skilled than we were and rode right up back the way we came, told us that was the only way and left us there to try to make it up on our own. In the following clips, you'll see us attempting to get out of where we were stuck. Um, we tried for about three hours, just continually getting stuck, getting up the hill a bit, and then get, having to turn back down. And as far as you can see in any of these videos, wasn't even as wasn't even close to the top of the hill. We were just stuck down in the chute and uh, just didn't have the skill to get out. Unfortunately, my GoPro died during this, so I'm sort of out of clips at the end, but after the three hours of trying to get out, we decided to hike out before uh, before it got dark. So we spent probably an hour hiking up the very steep and with deep snow chute we were on. And when we got to the top, we searched for a radio signal. I got no service here. I can uh, spell them out for you, but I got no service. After a while of searching for radio signal, as you can see there, Matt got in contact with someone and uh, this is the search crew who showed up. 
<laughs> and this is one of the very talented riders who rode one of our sleds up the hill, no problem. All of us had experience on sleds and uh, we didn't think we were that bad, but it's a whole nother level. These guys that are used to the mountains, it's it's so difficult to get the balance and, and the lean coming up the hills and on the off cambers. We really thought at one point that we were gonna have to spend the night up there on the hill. We were way back in the middle of nowhere. We probably wouldn't have had anybody come across us if we didn't have the radios. And uh, from the hike, my underlayer was soaked. So I was super worried that if we stayed the night, we were in wet clothes and uh, it wasn't gonna be good. So big thanks to uh, the Calgary farmers who showed up and uh, let's get on with the rest of this video. Bit of a bloody nose to start this ski day. Damn. Okay. Look at that little double there. Right. Oh. So all, all I see is a big rock. in the soft stuff. Whoa. Dude, I hit that first medium jump and I case it so f***ing hard. My ankles are f***ed right now. I can't do it on camera. Oh. Oh. It's close. I was sideways, eh? I didn't hurt that bad. That is all for today and for this video we will see you guys next time maybe maybe riding dirt bikes peace